All right, everybody, it's your Milner Man. You can call me Austin, as you all know. Um, time to make an important video now that YouTube's allowing me to publish videos again. <laughs> uh, so basically, I wanted to talk about <clears throat> a very few and far between but recurring thing in my channel. So I recently succumbed to a strike. I succumbed to a strike? <laughs> I don't know which past tense it is. Um, essentially, a three-year-old video, three-year, three-month-old video, um, had gotten flagged. I don't think it's flagging, though, and I'll get to that later. Basically, I was criticizing the alt-right for being, like, in the closet racist. This was back in the time where it was actually a sort of acceptable question to ask, you know, is the alt-right racist? Well, now that it's not 2017 and it's 2020, it's pretty evident at this point, so it's not really a question of are they, but why are they? <clears throat> but I made a video about that a long time ago. And just last week, at like 5 in the morning, I got a strike on my channel because of that video. So... If you saw on Twitter, and I also want to thank um, the Dark Conservatarian, a fellow YouTube acquaintance, for taking roughly about 20 minutes out of a Saturday morning to make an announcement about this. I want to uh, thank him because he didn't have to take the time out to make that video, but he did, and it's very much appreciated. You know, and that, that's why on Twitter I kept saying, well, it was a progressive type video, you know, because socially and economically, I would say I'm at least a, on the progressive side. I mean, to the core, I'm a leftist, but, you know, I'm progressive and I feel like YouTube would kind of like that progressive presence on their platform, but each and every video that's been taken down... Uh, the first one being uh, pretty much upon instant uploading, um, which is actually on my BitChute account that I don't use, <laughs> where I debunked Holocaust denier myths, um, and that got taken down pretty much instantly, and I appealed that twice. It died in the appeal process twice. Basically, it got rejected, its, it's appeal. So I didn't try a third time because they said if you try it a third time, it would result in a strike, which I think is bogus, personally. Like, you obviously know that your video isn't inflammatory in any way, and, and it's just a harsh critique. Um, so basically, I didn't try to do that a third time. It's like floating in my video still. Which I probably should take that down anyway, because it's not like you guys are going to be able to see it. And the second one was like a video from the fall or the winter of 2016, where, again, I was uh, being critical of closeted racist uh, conservatives, Republicans, alt-righters, so on and so forth. And then this one, which was in the spring of 2017... You know, I know it, it seems a little melodramatic to consistently be talking about this, but the thing is, is that there's no, like, cool-down period. I, a statute of limitations, if you will, where my stri or my, my warnings or my strikes roll backwards and I'm back at zero. What I'm stuck with is what I'm stuck with, so I have a strike on my channel, so I permanently have, like, this dirty mark on my record here on YouTube. And you know, I was already thinking about going ahead and deleting a whole back catalog of videos because either I didn't like the way they were executed or the way or how they were executed or um, even the fact that I don't feel like what I was talking about at the time, I don't feel like it represents me and it's not something I would want people to watch because if you think about it, 
Yeah, like the summer of 2016 when I was like a hardcore libertarian still before I I turned over to fascism. (laughs) I did not mean to say that. Holy shit. Okay, before (laughs) I turned over to leftism. I know some troll out there is going to be like, haha, you had a Freudian slip because leftism is the real fascism. Whatever, nerd. It, it was an honest mistake. I don't feel like those libertarian videos represent me anymore, and I don't want someone coming on my channel and discovering me because of those videos. I might keep some good ones up where they weren't as political, but to be honest with you guys, I don't really have the time to go look at each and every single video in my back catalog and just graded on this rubric like yeah it wasn't that that political so we're gonna keep this one up and it, and it it's also just the point that i should feel like it's something i i want to do for personal growth and that's something that i feel like youtube is going to punish me for not doing now in dark on stream patchy beard yuck <clears throat> To kind of send this video off here. Um, Some people were asking if I was calling for violence in those videos. Which which no, I wasn't calling for violence in those videos. And even if I was a person to be violent politically. I wouldn't be dumb enough to do it on a monetized video. Or a video at all. And secondly, I don't feel like... Maybe like the first or the second time it was a person just flipping through my videos to find something to flag falsely. But, um, I feel like it's just an algorithm because I'm pretty sure that last video was actually privatized because I was going to review whether or not I wanted to delete the video at a later date. So that's kind of what I'm dealt with here. Um, I was not allowed to make videos for an entire week, and I thought it was funny that it happened right before, or, you know, right before I was going to make a video when the Kyle Rittenhouse stuff was fresh. But, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, that's the place my my channel's in, and I just gotta kind of roll with the punches. So that's about about all for now. Um, Thank you for watching.